this is Julia Corbett. This is a, going to be a persimmon cream pie. And what I have here are some Fuyu persimmons. These are a little bit harder variety than the, the other one, the Hayacha variety. And I like using the Fuyu just because they hold their shape um, and they have a really, really great flavor. So what I would do with these is just cut off the top. So you can see they're almost um, apple-like on the inside. They're just orange. So I'm going to throw these into the blender. And I'm just going to maybe leave a couple out there. So that's about uh, one and a half for you persimmons. And then the other ingredients I'm using here to kind of hold the pie together are coconut butter. So this is coconut butter that I've melted. You can do that in the dehydrator or you can do it over the stove in a double, double boiler or just put the jar in some hot water and it'll melt because um, in the fall it's a little cooler so you have to kind of melt these things. And then I'm also using, using uh, raw cashews and I made some almond milk here. I, n I never really like to put water straight into my recipes so I'm making, I made almond milk um, to put in there, but you could also put, uh, you know, coconut milk or whatever kind of milk you prefer. But um, I find that the addition of, you know, two or more fats to a recipe gives it a really nice, richer flavor than if you just use one fat alone. So I'm going to put these in here. Actually, I think I'm going to put the cashews in first. It's about a half a cup of raw cashews, um, and then this is about a quarter of a cup of coconut butter. Put that in there, and I'm going to add the the almond milk last because it is um, slightly chilled, and I don't want the coconut butter to harden up right away. So we'll add the other ingredients first. Um, I'm going to put a little pinch of Himalayan salt in there. I'm going to put a little bit of my spice mix with the cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice. And I'm also putting ashwagandha extract. This is a cold water extract. Um, ashwagandha is an adaptogen and it's got almost, um, again, like a caramel-like flavor. So it goes really well with the persimmons. That's about a half a teaspoon or so. And then this is vanilla bean powder. And I'll put about a, uh, maybe a teaspoon of vanilla bean powder in there. Or you can use one vanilla bean. And then I'm using about one tablespoon of lucuma powder. And lucuma is also called egg fruit. Um, and it comes from South America. You can also get it in Hawaii, but they use it actually to make like ice creams and it's um, very high in minerals. Also the mesquite pod meal, about I would say one teaspoon of mesquite pod meal. You don't want it to be too mesquite like. And then this is kind of a special ingredient that I have, um, which is optional, but I like it because it's going to make the filling more bright orange color. This is a turmeric honey, so it's uh, just turmeric juice mixed with um, Bolivian honey. Great product from the water brewery in Costa Mesa, California. And then I'm going to add a little bit more honey. This is also the Bolivian honey, which I love the flavor of. It's a sage honey and it's really um, got a nice, really mineral, mineral tasting flavor. It's very dark. So those are all the dry ingredients, so you can see it's about three cups or so in there. Um, and I want this to blend really easily, so 
for the almond milk, I think I'm going to put um, about a, well, about a cup of almond milk in here. So we'll see how that goes. That's what I've got. Okay. Now we're going to blend. This is a Vitamix and it really makes things nice and smooth. So let's give that a little flavor taste here. Put a little dollop on the back of my hand. Mm. Yeah, that's very good. I think it needs a bit more honey. So I'm gonna add a little bit more sweetness. So with the honey, I added probably um, only a tablespoon or so. I'm gonna add another there and maybe another pinch of the spice. So while I'm doing my recipes, I always adjust to taste. I think it's really important to do that. Um, so whatever you like. I think I'm going to add one more thing as we go here. This is something, this is kind of the way that I create my pies. I just kind of go with whatever I'm feeling at the time. Um, and this might seem a little strange, but I'm going to add a half of a passion fruit to this. And passion fruits are also kind of in season right now, so it's a great little addition here. I'm just going to scoop out the little seeds. Um, these you can find in California, but if you don't have passion fruit, you could also just use uh, half of a lemon juice. It just needs a little bit of a sour flavor in there. That's perfect. Alright, so when I'm making pie recipes, I do a unique pie every time I do it. So this one is actually not in the Sweet and Raw Pie Mandala book, but I do have another really great persimmon recipe in there. Um, but this one will be available on the video or on my blog. Wanted to get all the air bubbles out of there. So now this is going to go into the refrigerator for about two hours or so um, until the top is nice and set. And then I will slice this fresh persimmon and kind of line it around the top. So I'll show you that a little later. 